Hey y'all, this is a continuation of the video that I posted yesterday. Um, a lot of people was asking me about hair growth. Y'all, hair growth, how did I get my hair to grow? It's a bunch of different factors um, that plays a part in getting your hair to grow. I mean, it's a bunch of um, different steps. I mean, you could do a whole bunch of different things. So it's not just, okay, you just do one thing and your hair is going to grow. It's not that. You got to do multiple things. I mean, your hair is a very, very sensitive fabric or material on your head and you can't just like oh you just do this and your hair gonna be growing gonna be long out down to the flow it's a whole lot of things so it's gonna take more than one video for me to explain how to grow your hair um because it is a lot it's a lot that i had to learn myself um in order for me to teach you in order for me to be able to tell you what to do i had to learn what to do okay um it took a lot it, it ain't just like i just Woke up overnight, made a butter, and woo, my hair grew um, once I started winning. But it plays a big, important part if you protect your hair at night before you go to bed. If you protect your hair, and when I mean protect it, I mean putting it on a satin, satin bonnet uh, every night before you go to bed. Or when you're lounging around your house, or when you're doing anything. When you laying down, when your head touches an object when your head touches a pillow i don't care if you want a plane a bus a boat whatever if your head is going to touch it make sure it's something that's not going to pull your hair out or draw the moisture out of your hair before you lay your head on it before you rest your head i don't care if you're nodding off in church i don't care where you laying at if you're going to put your head down and your hair out there you need to make sure your hair is protected okay you need to wear protective styles you need to keep your hair moisturized most importantly keep Keep your hair moisturized what my bonnet does it when you moisturize your hair you 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 put my bonnet on and the bonnet holds help holds the moisture in because if you just moisturize your hair you just walk outside the humidity and whatever is going to draw the moisture out of your hair faster but if you protect it and put the satin bonnet on it is going to be moisturized for a longer period of time and that's what you want the longer your hair stays moisturized is the better it's like nourishment for the hair it's like food for your soul okay your hair soul okay girl listen i'm just look i'm just a messenger y'all i'm just trying to tell y'all what i did i i, I, I listen my bonus is the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth to me to me i'm gonna say it like that to me um so uh, this is i'm just adding on to the video i put um i already recorded so in a few minutes i'm gonna go over to that video but um you, you ain't gonna know because i got the same thing on but keep your hair moisturized okay first and foremost make sure you washing your hair on a regular basis okay don't go years and years <laughs> months and months without washing your hair even if you got it in a protective style um y'all seen me wash my hair while it was in a protective style like and you see me washing my hair uh, while it was in braids, I mean, I try my best to be very, very delicate to my hair. That is what's helping my hair to grow. And also, if you got dead ends, should I go there, y'all? Y'all already know what I've been through. The only reason I held on to my dead ends um, for so long, it was a mental thing, okay? Because I had been through a lot with chemotherapy, cancer, radiation, all of that stuff. And I was, I was just sad about the, my, the whole thing. And hair falling out could cause depression to women. If you used to having hair like me, I was on a hair growth journey when my hair fell out. So it was, it, it took me. It hit me real hard you feel me and plus at the same time i was sick um sick real sick and my hair started it, it was a whole mental thing y'all and i still struggle with these problems on a daily basis with my hair y'all may think oh yeah she her hair good now her hair growing back now she's okay listen i don't think i don't know when it stops but it's still inside of me uh, you know different things that i went through um about my hair and stuff and my health my overall just me living me being alive it wasn't just about my hair it was a whole bunch of things you know when you get diagnosed with cancer it takes a toll on your mind more than it does your body because you alive and you sick and you hear people say this and that and this and that and i see this and it's this big and it's that mentally it's hard to take all of that because at the end of the day who want to die like for real, who want to die? Nobody. Nobody don't really just want to die. So when you hear all these things and you know cancer is 
surrounded by death or whatever. A lot of people die from cancer. A lot of people, you know, it, it's it's a deadly disease. So mentally, that takes a toll on y'all. Oh. Mentally, I don't like to talk about it, but I'm just keeping it real, okay? Mentally, that takes a toll on you, on your mind, on your body. If y'all been following me for a while, y'all don't see me go through mental breakdowns right here on YouTube. And it's a lot. And also stress, the additional stress behind the chemo and the radiation, the depression, the anxiety, all of that played a part in my hair looking raggedy, okay? It fell out. It started looking raggedy. My ends was just, just there flat y'all I mean they my hair was a mess I got the whole video videos after videos of showing my hair was in a, a drastic state and I was trying to hold on to those ends and my split let me tell you my ends they wasn't split they were just my hair had just fell out and that's where it just started thinning it um my the ends that I needed to cut off some of them was like that long that long I mean it was different length so my hair was a whole mess and well, it, it was a lot. It was a lot for me to learn. It was a good learning point for me, though. But I had learned so much before that. But I think what happened is between the cancer and the chemo and the radiation, I had forgot a lot of the things that I learned because that being sick took my mind back to, oh, my God, you know, what now? So I had to I had to try to stay focused and get my mind right till I can bring myself to, okay, now on track with my hair because it's always a feel of okay i'm not gonna lie y'all it's always a feel of me going to the doctor and they saying okay you gotta take some more drugs Ugh. but i'm not gonna take no more drugs and it's not gonna come back i need to speak speak it into existence i don't want to speak no illness in, uh, over my life you know because sometimes the things that come out your mouth you know it's, it's like a it's like a, 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 a i don't know what you call it but you're speaking into existence and i ain't trying to speak no negativity into existence in my life um, i'm doing good right now so i want to stay that way okay so anyways y'all i'm going to click it to the next video where i just said you know where i forgot where i left off anyways but Keep your hair moisturized, y'all. Um, I suffer a lot from anxiety, depression, sadness. Um, but I'm trying my best to remain happy in my videos and try not to let you guys see the sad part of me uh, a lot. And I just want to encourage you guys because before I was on, uh, before I had a cancer journey, I had a hair journey. Before I was diagnosed with cancer, I loved hair. Um, ain't nothing wrong with loving hair. Ain't nothing wrong with loving your hair, okay? Because God gave you your hair and it's there on your hair for you to love. I'm not obsessed with it, but I do love my hair. So, and if some, you can tell when somebody really loves their hair, if the hair look good, if the hair is growing, if the hair is thriving. I'm talking about your hair on your head. I'm not talking about if your hair look good because you got weave in it or because you got on a wig and stuff like that. I'm talking about genuinely love your hair. I mean... I love my hair, and I also like my relaxers, too, so don't get it twisted, y'all, okay? Because <laughs> the sister girl is tender headed, okay? Um, but that don't mean I don't love my hair. But anyways, y'all, I'm let me go ahead and click to the next video because I, my bunnets, let me tell you, my bunnets have brought a tremendous blessing over my hair, <laughs> over my hair and my life in general. But my bunnets, I don't know... I don't know what it is about my bonnets, but when I wear them, it's just like, okay, I feel like my hair is safe. My hair feels safe and secure in these bonnets because um, it's I, the satin line, first of all, it is just there. And plus, I feel like when you buy my bonnets, I'm helping you out. And also, you helping me out for my cancer journey. And I sell my bonnets for a good cause. And there is a lot of people who donate to different charities and different events and different things. And a lot of the times you don't even know where your money going. Okay. Like, like for instance, you go, you go to Walmart or whatever, and you slide your card They say, would you like to donate to St. Jude hospital? Or would you like to donate to this? Okay. They take your money, but do you see where your money is going? Do you see, do you see it? I know that's how I feel. Like I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna need to know you got my money. I'm gonna know. I'm gonna need to know what child you gave my money to and how my money blessed them, <laughs> or whatever, any kind of foundation, you know. But <clears throat> that's how I was like 
man i can i can donate to the susan g coleman breast cancer foundation no shade against them but where the money is where's the money going because i see a lot of different events going on a lot of different this but i don't know that's just me that's just how i feel about donating um so me personally that's why i came up with my own because if you donate to a cervical cancer foundation for me how do how do i profit off of that like how do i get help because i got a lot of medical bills ain't no they didn't pay for my medical nobody paid for my medical bill they piling up so I'm trying to figure out where where did I get, you know, all this all this treatment I got. It wasn't free because somebody donated. It wasn't free. I had to pay for this. Okay, so it, 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 I'll be wondering like where 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 did it all come from? But y'all, at the end of the day, um, my all the proceeds go towards me to my towards my medical bills for my cancer journey and like i said i do film the the days when i do go to the doctor and get checked and get my scans or whatever and i do bring y'all try to bring y'all the best footage to, as i can and try to keep y'all with a lot of information especially this information on how to grow your hair i don't want this video to be long it's gonna be long lord listen just stay tuned i'm gonna I'm add this other clip in because i left out a lot of good things but listen if y'all want to know any questions feel free to ask a closed mouth don't get fed okay you feel me a closed mouth do not get fed on this channel because i can't read your mind if you want to know something and you think i know the answer let me know if you want to know something even if i don't know the answer i can still put it out there somebody in the comment section might know the answer okay it, it all goes around and around and around okay so i'm gonna add this other clip in now oh I forgot to add, braid your hair up. I, well, I braid my hair up, leave it alone. Y'all see me braid my hair up. Y'all seen it, just left alone. I ain't do nothing to it, even when it was looking ratchet. I still was greasing it, coming off of Greasy Fridays, or, or Greasy whatever. Greasing gossip and fer virgin fertilizer Fridays, or whatever the heck it's called. Y'all already know. Um, I just pretty much left my hair alone. Leave your hair alone, okay? Quit changing your hair every two days. This is this for the people who want their hair to grow long, okay? Quit changing up your hairstyle every two days. The more you touch your hair, the more it's going to break okay the more opportunity it has to break okay the more chances you're giving it to break off you know it's, it's that's that's just is what it is if you keep playing your hair playing your hair it, it little strings at a time might not seem like a, a lot but the, it is if you want to see your length if you want to see your length the proof is in the pudding i'm not coming to y'all with no joke i ain't trying to say you no no flat tummy tea i ain't trying to say you no hair grow cream that's gonna grow your hair all the way to the, to the ground I just, i'm just telling you what i did okay it is what it is y'all i mean you can take it how you want it take it how you want it baby let's just be real you can grease your scalp with virgin hair fertilizer all day long you can spray your hair with s curl spray all day long all day long but at the end of the day what you do to your ends is what's most important for you to see your length okay what you do to your ends is what's most important for how you see your length because if you grease your hair and have fertilizer and it's constantly growing but if you steady going to sleep at night with nothing on your head and your ends are steady being exposed to the elements they're gonna break off just as fast as your hair is going to grow down so if these ears are breaking off while this is growing you're not going to see nothing you're not going to see no difference here it's going to be growing but you ain't going to see it down here because you're not keeping your hair protected okay you're not keeping your hair a satin bunny you got to keep it on something you just can't go to sleep on no cotton pillow every night and think your hair is going to flourish you can't be in your car if you got cotton chairs in your car or uh, whatever kind of vehicle you got, you can't just have your hair hanging down and rubbing up against your car all the time. You can't have on this cotton shirt and expect your hair to grow if it's rubbing up against your shirt all the time. And I'm not saying that you can't wear your shirt, you can't wear no cotton shirt, or you can't sleep on no cotton pillowcase, which is not advised. But if you're doing this stuff all the time, you your ends are going to break off. They're going to break off just as fast as your hair grow. That's why a lot of us black people, black women, hair looks like it remains the same length over a certain period of time. Like you done seen this girl, you, you got friends that you done known years ago. 
the hair still, oh, she has some long, nice hair, and it's pretty much shoulder length, okay? I'm one of those. I'm one of those people. My hair will remain the same length pretty much. This was probably like my ideal length right here for years. Years. I couldn't get it. That was like the longest, but most of my hair was like ill length. But I, I listen, y'all, I don't know how to tell y'all this, but without making y'all think she just trying to sell her bunnies because i know it's people out there who think like that okay i know it's some of y'all naysayers and all of that people who think like that but i'm just telling you like it is if you do not protect your hair at the ends keep your hair moisturized at the ends which is this part of your hair at the bottom for y'all don't know what the ends is the part of the hair at the bottom quit letting it brush up on stuff like this Quit letting it do that because it's not going to grow. It's it's going to grow. Your hair is going to grow regardless. It grows. But you're not going to see your length because you letting it slowly break off. You ain't going to never see that because it does this over a period of time. It don't just break off in clumps. It breaks off shed strands little at a time, little by little by little. And you don't notice it until it's time for you to do a limb check. And you'll be like, wait a minute, am I having this same limb already? You know, the last time, it ain't grow, but you look up here, and if you relax, you look up here, you got new growth. And you're, you're wondering, like, um, how come I got new growth, but it look the same length? Because you ain't got one of gold mouth bunnies. That's why. You ain't sleeping in it if you do got it. So you need to go ahead and get on the team and get you one of my bunnies, honey, because I got a whole website to show you about the bunnies. If y'all want me to do another video and show, tell you about these here bunnies, girl, I will do that, okay? I'm not trying to, to tell y'all what to do. I'm, I'm dead serious. But that's what your girl been doing, okay? I highly recommend my bunnies. Not because I made them. Because they good. And I know that they good. Because I got proof. Not because they mine, but because they eels. I'm just telling you, y'all. I'm for real. A lot of y'all, I know y'all like hair growth videos. Y'all want to see hair grow. Y'all want to take this kind of vitamin and jump off the business. See, hang your head upside down and flip over in a circle and roll around on the floor and see if that'll grow your hair and do all kind of stick your fang in the socket and see if it'll shock your body into hair growth. All kind of stupid remedies and stuff like that. Look, I done tried them. I done tried them. I done tried the inversion method. I done tried rolling up under my bed and see if I was going to come out with some long hair. I done tried all of that, y'all. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> inversion hat method did work a little bit but it you know i can't be getting all them headaches girl i got yeah i even got inversion hat method videos and there's other methods that do work but i'm just telling you what i did this time around okay this time around which was the best fastest proven method that i have ever done um since i've been especially since I, my hair loss from my cancer journey, okay? Um, it's, it's been a long time coming for my hair to come back, y'all. Y'all been there through, a lot of y'all been there with me through the thick and through the thin, and when my hair was just like, uh, a mess until I, when I did the big chop and chopped it off. And, whew, y'all, if y'all ain't got some of this here message out this here service today, out this here sermon, y'all sleep. Y'all need to wake up. Y'all want hair? Oh. Look, not trying to be uh, 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 flashy, but I'm just telling you how it is. And look at that blackness, y'all. I do dab, I did dab my hair black in my last video. If y'all missed that video, y'all want to know what color I dyed or what kind of dye I use, y'all go back and check my uh, previous video. I'll leave the links to a couple of videos below, y'all. Get into it, okay? Get into it. And look, check your girl out. All her proceeds go. When I say her, I mean me. All the proceeds that uh, goes towards my bunnies, that's spent on my bunnies, goes towards my medical bills. I already say that in previous videos uh, for my cancer journey, you guys. And I'm so proud of what, I'm so proud of myself in doing this, y'all. And, and it's helping. Can you guys see this? Like, come on now. That's it and that's all. All right, y'all. <laughs> What a mighty God we serve, okay? <laughs> and so why I grow for too long, got that much. She listen, that's what I did, okay? That's what I did. I did what I did, and that's it, and that's all, all right? Anyways, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here. Thank y'all so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.